Hi, welcome back to the ultrasonic kit for Arduino tutorial series. After all the previous lessons, that you have learned much about the ultrasonic sensor and other devices. This could be the last tutorials of the series. In this lesson, we are going to learn a commonly seen device in driving, reversing radar. Actually, what we are going to make is a simple one. Use an ultrasonic sensor to detect the distance between the sensor and the obstacle and then display the distance on an LCD screen, which is similar to backing a car. So, let's let her know. First, let's take a look at the experimental phenomenon. We can see the value displayed on the LCD1602 is 191 cm, which indicates the distance between the sensor and the ceiling. Now use a booklet as an obstacle. When the distance is greater than 15 cm, it is deemed safe. Thus, the buzzer beeps in a slow and low way. When the booklet gets nearer, like between 5 and 15 cm, the buzzer will give a warning beep of higher frequency. Then if the booklet approaches even closer to the sensor, in a distance smaller than 5 cm, the buzzer makes a sharp beep to warn you of the collision danger. Ok then, in this experiment, we will need the following components, the Symphony Uno board, a USB cable, some jumble wires, an ultrasonic sensor, a British ometer, a buzzer, LCD1602, and a breadboard. Then, how does the experiment work? Here's the principle. The ultrasonic sensor detects the distance to the obstacle, and then the value is displayed on LCD1602. Accordingly, the buzzer beeps in a changeable frequency based on the distance range. Now let's build a circuit. First, plug the potentiometer, the buzzer and the LCD1602 on the breadboard. Then use a jumble wire to hook up G and D of the Sunfounder Uno board to the breadboard. And connect pin K of the LCD1602 to G and D. Next, connect the LCD with the Uno board. Pin A to 3.3 volts. D7 to pin 12. D6 to pin 11. D5 to pin 10. D4 to pin 9. Pin E, which is the enable pin, to pin 8. RW to G and D. RS to pin 7. And OV to the middle pin of the potentiometer. Then hook up the UNO 5 volts to the breadboard. VDD of LCD1602 to 5 volts. And the VSS to GMD. And connect one of the rest pins of the part to GMD. Then connect the buzzer. Hookup is anode to pin 6 of the Uno board. And cathode to G and D. Next, connect the ultrasonic sensor with the Uno board. Connect its VCC to 5 volts. Pin check, which is the trigger pin, to pin 2. Eco to pin 3 and GND to UNO GND. Now we've finished the circuit. Connect the UNO board to your computer with the USB cable. Open IDE and type in the code. As usual, define the header file. 
We've mentioned the function liquid crystal before in lesson 11, semester. So this is a frequently used format of the function, and LCD is the variable. Here we connect pin IS of LCD1602 to pin 7, E to pin 8, D4 to pin 9, D5 to pin 10, D6 to pin 11, and D7 to pin 12. Then connect check of the ultrasonic sensor to pin 2 of the Symphony Uno board, echo to pin 3, the buzzer to pin 6. Then define a flow point variable CM to store the distance converted from pin time. Void setup. Initialize the serial monitor. Set the communication rate as 9600 bits per second. Then use a pin mode to set trick pin as output, echo pin as input, and the buzzer as output. The function begin is to initialize the interface to the LCD screen and specify the dimensions, namely width and height, of the display. The function needs to be called before any other LCD library commands. So here use it to make LCD display with two lines and 16 columns. Then use a print to display reversing radar on the LCD, which indicates beginning to back the car. Delay 2000 milliseconds, namely 2 seconds. Clear the screen. This part is to set the frequency the pin check sends out pulses. Use digital write to write check pin as low. Delay 2 microseconds. Then write check pin as high. Delay 10 microseconds. And check pin as low. Here we use a new function, pulse in pin value. It reads a pulse, either high or low, on a pin. For example, if value is high, pulse in waits for the pin to go high, starts timing, then waits for the pin to go low and stops timing. Then it returns the length of the pulse in microseconds. If no pulse starts within a specified timeout, it will give up and return zero. In this case, read the pulses at pin equal and record the time between the pulse becoming high and then turning into low, which is the length of the pulse. Then convert the length to centimeter. 58.0 is the result of the calculation based on the sound speed in the air, about 340 meters per second. Here the function can also be pulse in equal pin high divided by microsecond round trip centimeter. The purpose is the same, namely, to convert the time length into centimeter. The C++ language can possibly convert a number, like a floating number, 1.562, into an integer by multiplying with 100. In this case, it is converted to 156. Then the result is divided by 100 again and rounded to two decimal places, which is 1.56 cent. So this line is to turn the distance converted from time into a number showing two decimal places. If the distance is less than zero, take it as zero. Place the cursor at line zero, column zero, which is the first line and the first column. Then use a print function to show the character distance, semicolon, on the LCD. Place the cursor at line one, column zero, which means the second line and the first column. Add 16 spaces to make sure the remaining characters in line 1, if any, are cleared. Then put the cursor at line 1, column 3. Display the distance on the LCD. Then put the cursor at line 1, column 9. Display the character CM, which is the unit. Delay 100 milliseconds. If the distance is 5 to 15 centimeters, set the buzzer as high. Delay 100 milliseconds. Set it as low. This part is to set the frequency of the buzzer beeping when the ultrasonic sensor is 5 to 15 cm to the obstacle. At that time, you can hear the sound of a comparatively low frequency. If the distance is between 0 and 5 cm, set the buzzer as high. Similarly, this part is to control the buzzer to keep beeping ceaselessly when the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the obstacle is 0 to 5 cm. Set the buzzer as high. At an else test, if the distance is larger than 15 cm, set the buzzer as high. Delay 100 milliseconds. 
so the buzzer as low. Delay a thousand milliseconds. This part is to define the safe distance, which is larger than 15 centimeters. Set the frequency as quite low, thus the buzzer beeps really slowly. So that's the code. Compile and check if an error. Then connect the sound the unit board with your computer to upload the sketch. Now check the results. We can see the value displayed on the LCD1602 is 191 cm, which indicates the distance between the sensor and the ceiling. Now use a booklet as an obstacle. When the distance is greater than 15 cm, it is deemed safe. Thus, the buzzer beeps in a slow and low way. When the booklet gets nearer, like between 5 and 15 cm, the buzzer will give a warning beep of higher frequency. Then if the bullet approaches even closer to the sensor, in a distance smaller than 5 cm, the buzzer makes a sharp beep to warn you of the collision danger. As this experiment is done, we've completed the ultrasonic kit's learning. Bet you've learned a lot from the tutorials. If you find any difficulties during the study or in the experiment, try to understand the principle and figure it out. And you're welcome to launch discussions in the forum section on our website, sunfunder.com. For any questions or if you have better ideas, contact us by email to support at sunfunder.com or just leave your comments on our website. So, this is the end of the ultrasonic kit tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye!